Most major smartphones nowadays have a built-in desktop mode which allows you to use them like a personal computer. One of the most common ones known is the Samsung's DeX feature which has been around since the days of the Galaxy S8. Initially you needed a Windows PC to access the DeX application but now you don't even need that. All you need is a monitor, a keyboard and mouse and a single USB-C cable. As soon as you plug it in, the phone does the rest. So when the manufacturers are providing so many features, the question has to be asked, can a phone really replace a PC? I mean every app that you use on your PC has a mobile version, so there is no reason why you can't get some work done. And so I decided to give it a shot. I replaced my laptop with my phone for one day to see if I can get any work done just using Samsung's DeX. Setup wise my job was made a little easier because my monitor has USB pass through so I didn't have to connect my keyboard and mouse to my phone with a weird adapter or anything. The monitor has two USB ports on the back which can directly interact with my phone so I used that. The nice thing about DeX is that your phone screen and the monitor are completely independent meaning that you can have some application running on the monitor and do something else entirely on your phone. The only catch is you can't open the same app that's already open on your phone. So if you have opened an app on your DeX interface and you want that on your phone, the app has to be closed and restarted. And no, you can't even transfer apps from one window to another even though it's literally being powered by the same phone. I think that's a room for improvement there. I mean, it's running on the same phone. I should be able to take it from my phone screen and put it on the DeX screen. But that's a minor complaint, because the apps just run absolutely fine on the DeX interface. Even mobile centric applications that I use ran absolutely fine with a keyboard and mouse. I was actually pretty impressed. And by the way, if you don't have an external keyboard or mouse, you can still use DeX. Your phone can change into a touchpad with a keyboard. I'm not a fan of that keyboard, it's pretty small to type when you're looking at the monitor. But the touchpad is frankly excellent, it's one of the best touchpads I've used. I know it's the same device powering both screens, but the accuracy by which it tracks your fingers and allows you to have multiple gestures, it's pretty amazing to me. My work primarily requires me to use a good browser and the Microsoft Office suit, both of which are already available on the phone, including the Google document suit like Google Docs, Google Sheets. And Samsung has optimized other applications like Outlook and Microsoft Teams to work better with DeX. On paper, that's pretty much all I needed really. It all worked surprisingly well. The performance was buttery smooth as expected and well, there is no fan noise to deal with cause it's all powered by a phone. There were a few small software glitches but nothing that couldn't be worked around or there wasn't anything that could stop me from doing my work. But I do see some bigger problems though and pretty much all of them are hardware related. The first issue I noticed was the device heating up. Obviously when it's constantly being charged and simultaneously being used as a PC, the device gets pretty toasty and that can't be good for the battery's health. I didn't get any high temperature warnings on my phone but just to keep it safe I unplugged it once in a while like once every 35 minutes. Now thankfully all the apps that I had opened still stay open the next time I reconnect but they'll all have to reload. So if you had opened like a bunch of tabs in your browser like I usually do, they all have to reload. So you can't really do continual activities like if you were downloading some huge file when it was in a DEX mode, you better keep it that way to prevent it from being interrupted. And even though the browser opens all of the web pages by default in desktop mode, it doesn't support for other things like extensions. I can't use the browser extensions that I would have used on my PC so I had to take some workarounds to do something that otherwise would have taken me just one click. And speaking of clicks, some of the buttons in your mouse that you always took for granted, like the middle click, doesn't really work here. You can't open the links in a new tab or close the tabs using the middle click, you have to right click all your way there. Again, not a deal breaker, you can still get your work done, but it's not as fast as using a PC because that's what I'm used to. But I was able to get most of my work done just fine. Aside from a few websites like the Drip community which absolutely needs a desktop browser, everything else was an acceptable alternative. And I guess that's the verdict I will give using Samsung DeX for a day. It is not a complete replacement by any means, but it's an acceptable alternative. So if your PC is not working well or maybe you are in between your PCs at the moment, you can use DeX to get your work done at least for basic documents and meetings for about a day or two. This is also a great way of reusing my second phone, the Galaxy Note 8. That's kind of what I like about Samsung's high-end devices. I mean sure, they are expensive, but they also come with a lot of useful features like this. 
I mean, I'd like to see your iPhone do that. Oh, that's right. It doesn't even have a USB port. Anyway, this was a fun experience. I'm pretty surprised that even a 4-year-old phone like the Note 8 can be useful in 2022 if you know how to use it. As for my workstation though, yeah, I'm going back to a PC because they are designed to be used for hours and hours without really damaging their hardware that much. And as for laptop batteries, they are already geared to use the wall power when the power is available instead of the battery. And as a matter of fact, I am looking for a new laptop PC. I think my Sony Vio has served me well for the past 8 years, so yeah, it's probably time for its retirement. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below, or if you want to share some links, you can do that on Discord as well, link is in the description. I don't have a budget restriction as such, but don't go crazy with your suggestions. As I mentioned, my workload is not that heavy and I primarily just use the browser, so something with a super fast SSD and RAM will do just fine. I'll mainly be looking for longevity and repairability, you know, something that's easy to upgrade down the line, and something that already has a lot of I.O. ports, which doesn't require me to buy a lot of adapters or dongles. I have my eyes on the LG Gram. It's a little old now, but I think it serves my purpose. What do you think? But if you even accidentally recommend an Apple MacBook, or recommend something that I don't like, bruh. I will look for you. I will find you. I see everything. Anyways, no pressure, and if you have any questions about Samsung DeX, let me know down there as well. Cheers!